<laughs> Men, you write down who was your last girlfriend before your wife and describe her using two words. <laughs> your ex-girlfriend before your wife and describe her using two words. Bye, bitch. <laughs> wow. You feel very strongly about her. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, going on to question number seven. Question number seven. Gentlemen, a new law has been passed requiring you to take on a second wife. Which one of your wife's friends would you pick? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said y'all want to dig deeper with <laughs> And ladies, you write down which one of your friends you think your husband would pick as a second wife. Question number eight. Now, if there was a parrot stuck in your bedroom, what word or phrase would that parrot learn to repeat because you and your spouse say it so often? If there was a parrot stuck in your bedroom, what word or phrase would that parrot learn to repeat because you say it so often? Yeah, I did ask, I did ask. Because <laughs> you say it so much. Oh. Ooh, y'all, some kind of kid, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, okay. Good, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Going on to question nine. Now this one will be multiple choice. Okay? Question number nine. Ladies, when your husband comes out of the shower in all of his glory. Yeah. Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> what does he most resemble? Is it a pink mini Volkswagen with two flat tires? <laughs> meep, meep. Is it B, a Ford dump truck built tough? Or is it C, a stretch limousine? <laughs> a, a pink mini Volkswagen with two flat tires. B, a Ford dump truck. Or C, a stretch limo. Me and you write down what you think it looked like. Yeah, when you come out of the shower in all of your glory, what do you most resemble? A, a pink mini Volkswagen, B, a Ford dump truck, or C, a stretch limo? Okay, good. All right, going on to question number 10. Where's the most unusual place you have ever had ice cream? Where is the most unusual place you have ever had ice cream? Pound chico Who's 
Who's your daddy? Who's? I think we should give him a bonus question. Should we give him a bonus question? We're going to give you a bonus question. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this one is multiple choice, okay? okay yeah, yeah. This one will be multiple choice. And the question is very simple and easy. How was last night for you? <laughs> How was last night for you? Was it A, Halloween, tricks and treats? You know... Fifty Shades of Grey, a little bit kinky. <laughs> All right. <laughs> B, was it Thanksgiving? Being thankful for whatever? <laughs> you know, like waiting for that thing to pop up out the turkey. <laughs> um, C, Fourth of July fireworks. Or D, Memorial Day, honoring the dead. <laughs> What's that start for you? A, Halloween. I mean, A, um, yeah, Halloween tricks and treats. B, Thanksgiving, being thankful for ever. C, Fourth of July fireworks. Or D, Memorial Day, honoring the dead. Oh, that's not that's not No, that's not right. <laughs> Good, awesome. All right, so now we're going to uh, review our answers. Now, if the couples get a match, I need you to make some noise like so. <laughs> Good, if they don't get a match, I need you to give me a Showtime buzzer that sounds like this. <laughs> awesome. All right, good. So we're going to review our answers. Going on with question number one. Was it, um, question number one, when and where did you first meet? Okay, Petra, when and where did you first meet? Holbrook, Arizona in the 1980s. Okay, Holbrook, Arizona in the 1980s, right here? I put uh, Regano's in July. Online June 2015, right here. We met online at Yee's. Yee's Sushi. And Yee's you. Okay, so that is a match. We met online. Good, right here. When and where did you first meet? Cal Poly Pomona, 1964. First year of college. First year of college, 1964. Right here. You got it wrong. September 1964. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, 1 being the lowest, rate your first kiss. Right here? 10. 10. What you think? 10. 10. Good. Leah? 10. 10. Okay. Good. Good. 10. That is a match. 7. 7. James? 7. What you put? 7. 7. Three. What were the colors of your wedding and what is the one thing you remember most about the honeymoon? Lavender and white Lavender and, and white. this game and the great sex. Okay, lavender and white, this game and the great sex. Okay, here. Purple and black. <laughs> oh, that's your and what do you remember most about the honeymoon? We're still on it. Get it on, baby. Let's go. Good job. All right, Leah. So we have fall colors, um, orange, brown, gold, and, <laughs> and I remember getting a bed wet, 
Jonathan, uh, what were the colors? Uh, colors white. And what were you remember most about the honey boo? The sex was banging. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yellow and I think white. Mm -hmm. And my husband was walking bow legged after a day or two. Of the white and yellow. Okay. And what do you remember most about the honeymoon? But it wasn't the bow legged, it was the sore stomach muscles. <laughs> Going on to question four. Quick is your anniversary. What um, bra size do you buy your wife? Okay, Petra, what is your bra size? 36 double D. 36 double D? What did you put? What did I say? 36 double D. That is a lot. <laughs> All right, Leah? 42 double D. 42 double D. Good, Jonathan, what you put? I just put double Ds. <laughs> Oh, man. 34C. 34C. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, going on to question five. What movie title best describes your marriage thus far? Is it A, The Notebook, B, Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure, C, Mission Impossible, or D, Nightmare on Elm Street? A, The Notebook. A, The Notebook, right here. A, The Notebook. Oh. A, The Notebook, that is the match. Oh. All right, right here, Leah. B, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> All right, Jonathan. I put C, Mission Impossible. <laughs> right here. He was big adventure before he got arrested. Okay. <laughs> I remember after I got arrested. Yes, B. B, B Pee Wee Herman's big adventure. Man. All right, going on to question number six. All right. What is the name of your husband's last girlfriend? And describe her using two words. Her name was Avril, and she's a skanky hoe. <laughs> I'll put Jennifer, and she's all right. Chick. Like okay, Marlo and she's average chick. Okay, I put Marlo and I put she's work. Yeah, she, she's she's a piece of work. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll give y'all that one. Okay, okay, Marlo. I put fifty-four years. Really? <laughs> <laughs> James, what did you? Put? I was the same thing. I couldn't remember, so I just made something. You just. <laughs> Karen. You can't remember. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, question seven. A new law has been passed requiring you to take on a second wife. Which one of your wife's friends would you pick? Petra, who do you think you would pick? He would pick Brandy. Brandy. <laughs> I was smart because I didn't want to ask. I said Carrie, because there's a lot of Carries. because all my girls are popping and he said he looks at them as sisters but I put Kim because she likes to cook so she can help me. Kim. <laughs> all right, Jonathan. Put nobody to <laughs> nobody. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> and, and I put the last one still living. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Mary, she's the only one living. <laughs> Going on to question number eight. If there was a parent stuck
stuck in your bedroom, what word or phrase would that parent learn to repeat? You give it to me, baby. <laughs> okay. What did you put, Earl? I put dick me down. Ford dump truck or C stretch limo? That your? Dump truck. Dump truck. Right here, Earl. Or dump truck. Dump truck. That is a match. Good, Leah. Dump truck. Dump truck. Oh, yeah. Jonathan? Uh, stretch limo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mario. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. <laughs> what you put, James? Is that A? A, Volkswagen. That is a match. <laughs> Question number 10, where is the most unusual place you have ever had ice cream? In the car. In the car. Or I put it at a haunted hotel. In the car. In the car. In the car. Yeah. <laughs> On the freeway. On the freeway. Jonathan? I put it in the bedroom. Maria, what did you put? I put on my dot, 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 dot with amaretto. Oh. Okay, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you go, girl. We do. Yeah, uh, James, what did you put? The 13th green on a golf course. <laughs> Not actual ice cream. Okay. <laughs> All right, question number, um, our bonus question, how was last night for you? Was it A, Halloween Tricks and Treats? Was it B, Thanksgiving? Was it C, Fourth of July? Or D, Memorial Day? What was it for you, Petra? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Being thankful for whatever. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, that is a match. Good job. Awesome. All right, Leah, what did you put? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, right here. Jonathan? I put fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right here. What did you put? I said Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, right here. Good, James. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. That is a match. Good. Job. Good. So, Carnival Radius family, let's give a big round of applause to these three lovely couple. So, um, now I need um, all three couples, if you don't mind standing, if you will, okay? Those pages you can keep for your scrapbook, for your memories, or you can leave them with me and I'll put them in my scrapbook for my memories. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you stand right here. Now, I know I said I was going to keep count of how many you got correct, but I actually didn't because all three couples were amazing. Were they amazing on stage? Right here? being said, I'm going to give all three couples a wonderful bag from Effie with a bottle of champagne and a trophy as well. And a ship on the stick. Yes, you got it. There you go. And your very own carnival medallion as well. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good. Let's extend a big round of applause once more. Now, before you leave the stage, before you leave the stage, I do have to ask you, um, you've been married for 54 years and not many people get to see that. And um, I want to ask you, how do you stay together for 54 years? What you, what's the best advice you can give to our newlyweds and all those married couples out there? Two things. Tolerance. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a job. Just like anything else, you got to work at it. you got to work at it. Yeah. And we're best friends. Yeah. Yeah. 
which lasts longer than anything else. So that's how you stay together for 54 plus years, just like that, all right? So before you leave the stage, I would like all of you, to, you know, some of you said 10, your first kiss was a 10, and some said it was a seven. So you know what, I want all three couples to show us what a number 10 kiss looks like. So kiss your baby, if you will, the person you love. Family. Let's hear it for a month, for again, our three lovely couples. 